Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we're finding, learning, turning the great strategy games, and this is episode number two today on the live stream, double barreled action, here we go, uh, it is turn 12, we are now in September, the leaves start to turn, I get wistful as I think back about the moves we've made uh <laughs> well i don't know if i'd go that far um i'm not gonna get poetic on you well maybe i will who you know I, I can't control what comes out of this mouth of mine sometimes uh my wife will tell you that um all right well let's back up a little bit you see all of our air forces will have to go set some new air directives, see where exactly our fighters are positioned. We'll go look at the reserve box, see if anything's built up. Uh, I also wouldn't mind disbanding some of those air groups uh, and potentially filling out some of our fighter groups eventually. Let's go look at the new events. Do -do 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 -do. News date n dateline September seventh, nineteen forty one. Soviet partisans in where? In all occupied territories of the Soviet Union. Partisan attacks. Intensity one or two. All right. We suspected that. The USS Greer. On September 4th, 1941, the USS Greer becomes the first United States warship fired upon by a German U-boat in the war. Even though the U.S. is a neutral power, tension heightens between the two nations as a result. The U.S. is now committed to convoy duties between the Western Hemisphere and Europe. On September 11th, Franklin Delano Roosevelt orders the United States Navy to shoot on sight if any ship or convoy dum, 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 dum. the Americans trying to get into the war <laughs> as best they can despite uh, a lot of opposition at home at the time lots of German immigrants not too happy uh, with FDR uh, we got to send a ship over there to get blown up on purpose guys that's how we get into a war that's how the U.S. does it <laughs> let's let's stage an event uh can can we rally around the flag let's go uh okay well uh pfft. what do we do first my goodness it's glad to be i'm glad to be back i'm glad to do two today i'm at that point in the game where i want to keep playing and so i record an episode that's why i'm cranking out like two a day now i play an episode and rather than doing like my usual adult responsibilities, I'm like, God dang, I want to play another episode. So I start recording again. And uh, but then I'm like, well, you know, people have got like jobs and kids and things like that. They you can't really watch like three or four episodes a day or can you? Uh, I, I may test that theory as we continue to move on here. Uh, but yeah, we're on turn 12, September 7th. Uh, this has uh, been a great playthrough. It's been a lot of fun. Hasn't been perfect. We've learned a lot along the way, whether it be about uh, air units, uh, depots, you know, the, the new AI and how it operates. I mean, we've learned a lot about this game uh, just in this playthrough, you know, above and beyond the tutorial and all that stuff. You learn the best by playing. That's what I always say, right? But watch the tutorials anyway. All right, let's go and look at our losses screen. How about that? <clears throat> All right. So uh, I guess the last turn, 37,000 we lost. Uh, the Soviets lost about 118,000. Uh, we've got about 3 to 1 on AFVs, and we've got about 4 to 1 on guns, which is usual. Uh, Soviets up to now 1.86 for a million losses, uh, 32,000 guns, and nearly 10,000 AFVs at this point. We have now risen to 350,000 losses, uh, including 907 AFV. Well, it doesn't include that. It's uh, in addition, 907 AFVs. Look, let's look at the air losses. Uh, total losses, 2,633. Probably the biggest part of that uh, that hurts are the fighter bombers that the Germans uh, used almost exclusively as fighters, it seems. We've lost between the two of them. You know, some of these may have been used as bombers, but well over a thousand fighters uh, using our ground support uh, to full effect and doing escort at 120%. I would probably, I don't know, I don't want to second guess that move because ultimately that's part of the reason our ground forces as far as they are. And I do like to throw it all 
into it, into the first 10 turns. Now we're on turn 12. We'll see how uh, smart that was, won't we? Uh, okay, so that's all good. Um, let's look at that on the graph. Uh, we, wow, we need some victory points, guys. How funny would that be? We get to turn 16. I don't have enough. We lose. We lose on sudden loss. <laughs> Boy, that'd be a real kick in the pants. Uh, order of battle. Total men, as you can see. Uh, oh, I, I guess maybe, I don't know. No, I guess the question, I said this last episode, no, he wasn't over a certain amount. The question was, are the Soviets over 6 million men yet? No, they're not. They're at, you know, they actually went down a little bit into this turn. You don't see that often at this point of the game. You know, they started to rise. They went from 5 million to 5.5 million quickly, and now that kind of leveled off. They will continue, obviously, to get more and more and more and more and more reinforcements. Um, hopefully, we just don't put any good, you know, leave any good spots for them to get into. Uh, total guns. All right. Well, they had really spurred it up there. Now we kind of pulled them back. They're kind of, we're kind of even on guns, right? Total AFVs. We continue to drive them down, drive them down. We're staying fairly constant and consistent, which is actually good. I'm happy to see that total aircraft. You know, we kind of had this dip. Now we're starting to rise a little bit. Um, 10,000 aircraft, Still out there. Manpower losses. Well, last turn we did finally get them to spike up a little more there. 118,000. Um, you know, we're staying fairly consistent and constant for losses per turn. Uh, around, you know, but somewhere between 30 and 40,000 is kind of the, since turn five has kind of been the, the norm. Uh, gun losses, you know, they're going to lose a lot more guns than we are. AFV losses, we did lose 144 last time. We, you know, we're starting to fight with our Panzers a little more. We kept this really low for a long time. That spiked up a little bit last time. Um, we'll have to watch out. That including the Brave 47 out there in the center. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Uh, that got a little too close. They only lost 164 aircraft last time. We lost 112, mainly because of an ill-advised recon direct, or three recon directives, I should say. Um, okay. Oh, that's, no, we just looked at that. Come on. What's the weather looking like? Okay, well, we got a little bit of rain starting to sneak into, uh, Germany there. All right, well, something to keep our eyes on, right? Uh, let's see what it's projecting next. Oh, yes, you front, you move there. Now then, if we look, okay, so we'll have some mud in Germany next turn, supposedly. Uh, yeah, okay, well, as long as there's none in and around Leningrad, I, I'm happy. We, we uh, Although we're kind of there now, right? I mean, in some respects. Um, you know, it, will mud make a huge difference now? I mean, you know, not for movement points, but I guess really I should worry more about mud out here. This is where we still need the mobility. Uh, of course, we always need mobil mobility in the south. It does look like in the south, the Soviets, you know, they did isolate our one panzer group out here. Uh, they did try to get down here. I don't think they got down here fast enough. I think we can bull our way to Stalino. Just from what we're seeing, it looks like the mass clump is right there. Uh, they are, like, triple stacking and really, I guess, trying to defend us coming across to Kharkov. Uh, hopefully, we can kind of scoot around that this time. Uh, we shall see. We'll send the Hungarians out there to find out. I'll tell you that much. Uh, nothing stops those mad Hungarians. Um, Luftflotte 1. Let's go look at our air directives and let's get rid of the recon air directives. I'm tired of those. All right. Uh, my instincts, I think, were correct. I'm just not going to run any recon. What, what was the point? I mean, we didn't find out anything, really. We found out where they had some units, but I, I didn't think it was very helpful at all. Um, look, I'm not saying there's no place for it. I just, mainly, I'm just going to run ground support. I, I just think that that's really the only thing that pays off. Um, ground support, here we go. And for Luftflotte 1, we're going to pick Army Group North. Okay, let's look at, oh, whoops, got to confirm that. Um, 
now we got to make sure and turn ground support on and off every time um, we're going to do an attack or think about an attack. Um, we also got to look and see. Let's look at JG51. So let's get off of air directives for a second. Let's look at JG51 and let's look at its ring circles and see how far north it can get. Oh, good. So it does get to, we got 49 BF109 F2s, okay? And they get to Leningrad just barely. Just barely they do. Uh, do we have anything else? I think so. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, we just got the one big ring circle. Uh, it's 42 of those guys. Okay. Um, now then, I wonder if I move... They're all single-engine single aircraft, I do believe. The aircraft... Yeah, they're single-engine aircraft. So with 49, we could very easily move up here to Luga. I think we'll plan that for next time. So let's um let's control and let's no I don't want it over two. Let's just put it right at Luga. All right, and we'll plan that transfer for next time. Uh, because we are covering everywhere we need to cover right now, but I'd like them to get a little closer even, maybe cut down on operational losses and whatnot. So we'll move them in there. Um, that means our KGs, our bombing groups, could move up a little bit next time too. We have a level 2 at Novgorod. Now we're not protecting it as strongly as I would like maybe to move in a force, but I guess we can spread it across these four. Oh yeah, let's get into Staltzy or Saltzy. I <laughs> should Staltzy. Saltzy. Uh okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this kind of like that. I don't want to do that one really. Um I guess that's good enough. Uh, Novgorod does have a nice size airfield, but we'll plan that for next time. They, these guys have got plenty of range to get to Leningrad way beyond. Uh, they could bomb, you know, Finland if they wanted to. Um, okay, so that's planned. We'll move them up. So we've got that. Uh, KG, this one. Well, we haven't taken that base yet. We I plan on taking it this turn. Hmm. He's getting now in the yellow. Saltzy is getting a uh, red treatment. All right, these guys. I don't know. Between these three bases, maybe these four. You know, they'll probably all want to go to Novgorod. Of course, they do. All right, we'll plan that transfer. If we were to lose Novgorod in our ground, you know, during the ground, I don't think that it would, you know, it's they're not going to move up there if we lose it. So, or if they're right next to it, I don't think. We maybe want to think about putting these guys together or flipping something more up here. I, I want to have a little more at Novgorod than what we've got right now. I'll tell you that. All right, um... So now we've got those two KGs moving up. I don't know. Do we need to move anything else? We, you know, I'm kind of moving these things, and then I'm rethinking. It doesn't matter with the bombers. I mean, I guess it does a little bit. We've got 49. Let's go look at the reserve and see what our air units are starting to look like. We've got... Um, I wish it told you how many were in here. Does it? Oh, it does. Duh. Okay. Four, three, three, four, or four, 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 four. Hey, 33 fighter bombers. Let's look at these guys. Fighters. This is two JG-52. Okay. One JG-54 has 21. What is, um... Let's get off that for a second. Let's go back up there. It's JG-51 that's already up here. Not that that's, you know, it does, it's not like you have to keep them in the same. We definitely got some fighters this time, fighter bombers that came in um, from the reserve. I didn't even look at the turn summary yet. 
So these are all JG54, JG52s. Okay, where is JG52 on the map? And where is... That's in the... Okay, we're looking for 27, 52, and 54, just out of curiosity. 27... There's 52, okay. Uh, this, what we've been dealing with, um, is 51. Okay, so 51 and 52. I pulled it all out of the center, so they're probably down here, huh? J, uh, nope, that's KG, sorry, JG77. Do I have another one down here somewhere? Where's my other JG? JG3. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go look at the turn summary. See what we got in. Uh, oh, this was a good turn, by the way. We got uh, so the uh, correct, the crazily named 666th Pioneer Battalion came in. They're ready to burn some things to Hades. Uh, 5th Panzer Division, 2nd Panzer Division are now on the map. We got two new Panzer Divisions. I love it. Uh, Lair Gun Battalion, okay. Uh, we got a motorized core that came with our Panzer Divisions. Uh, that's nice. That's a nice little uh, accoutrement to come along with Panzer Divisions. Uh, we've got a motorized brigade, and the Finnish Coastal Brigade is finally in Finland. Uh, these motorized brigades are going into the garrison box, okay. Marine Flak Africa uh, Panzer Army is going into North Africa, okay. Air Groups. Yeah, these guys did not arrive. So uh, evidently, we got a bunch of planes built last time, and it built out some of our units. Um, let's go back and look at those, because it's possible that the game put them back here because they're uh, worn out. Um, <clears throat> fatigue zero. Nope, not that guy, but he's also the smallest we've got. Um, no fatigue there. No fatigue there. Now, this guy will have fatigue. Nope, no fatigue there. Okay, excellent. Uh, shit, we may as well get these guys moving. He's got 10 fatigue. No big deal, though. All right. Wow, we got some fighters, guys. We've got some fighters. So I think JG52 now, if we click on that, that's just the swarm. I may leave the swarms back here, but this JG52... Okay, so JG-52, JG-54. Let's take the reserves down. All right. Gosh darn it. Get me up there. Get me up there. Um, where can they go? Maybe actually that's who we wanted to bring up here instead of JG-51, but too late to cry over that spilt milk. Um, I've got nothing at Pascov now. Saltsy. Um. Hmm. Now then, let's call these. How do I? I think I have to do it by going. I can't right click on these, right? Whoops. What are you doing? There we go. Transfer to. I can't transfer them out. How do I get them back on the map? Or are some of these not allowed to come back? Well, surely they are. I have to go out to the airfield, don't I? That's what I did before. So JG-52 and JG-54. All right, so he can't come out yet. These two can't come out yet. They just came back, evidently. All right, so it's down to... Well, he can. Okay. It's down to JG-54 and JG-52. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the north. There we go. Bring a AOG in from reserve. Yes, sir. That's what we want. I'm actually going to bring in JG-27. Um, and I'm going to put 54 in, back in the center, I think. Um...
All right, there's 27. Okay, ready percentage, morale, ready, ready, max, four. He's got 33 and 21. That's weird, because I said I just wanted 27. Now, he's got three ready. He's got four ready. He's got 33 ready. Now, I just said I was only going to bring, I think I'll bring JG54 and 27 up here. Does that make sense? I think it does. At into Peskov. All right, so they'll move out this turn, and they will show up next time. AOG. Oh, interesting. Wow, this gives you a lot of information. Um, depleted. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we can just take them and put them on the map. They'll come out this next time. It'll be a transfer. Or do we... Wait a minute. I guess we do hit it here. Okay, so let's transfer. Yes. Hey, there they are. Okay, well, that's how you do that. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Okay, yep. Okay, well, by fumbling around in the dark... Um. That's what she said. Uh, JG-52. Okay, let's... Uh, well, I don't want to put anybody on that airbase. Let's get up here. How about this airbase? We could go right in here. We're going to take these guys out this time. All right. And let's bring in an AOG from reserve. JG-54. All right. Uh, into Viasma. Excellent. Cool. All right. Well, that's helpful. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Low f oh, okay, okay. No, let's actually not do Viasma then. Uh, we'll plan a transfer up there next time. Where should we bring them, for, bring them to, though? Um, well, we don't have to fly them this time. We can wait. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's bring them up there. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's JG-54, and now we'll have to put it into Luflata 2. Uh, let's do that. We'll right-click, and into Luftflata 2 you go. All right, JG-54. Excellent. That's exciting. I like to have fighters. Now, how, how is Viasma looking? It's only at 18%. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring JG-52 up here as well. Uh, and we'll just plan that transfer. Now, it, in some respects, I guess it doesn't matter because I think that all that matters is the airbase they take off from for operational losses when you're transferring. And then when they're running missions, it would matter what Viasma is. Um, get off of JG. Get off of JG52. All right, so that's planned. Uh, he's going to move up there. Cool, call off. Not going to run anything there. We've got our directive set. Ground support for Army Group North. Okay. We're going to go and turn that off just on the automatic, right? Map info. <sighs> Where is that? Oh, we can't get to it, I guess, during the uh, air planning phase, which all, kind of seems strange when you think about it. Uh, these KGs are up here. That's all fine. JG27 could also plan to move up here. Or did we already do that? Nope. Oh, it's interesting. You can take them out of the reserve box and plan a transfer. Is that right? Can we? I hope so. Because I'm going to try it. He's going to Novgorod too. Well, we better go protect Novgorod. Let's say that. Uh, let's plan the transfer. Okay. Cool. Wow. All right. Oh, whoops. I forgot to uh, update something. On. There we go. All right. Let me let that load. Sorry. That's that's inside baseball what I got going on there. Hey, good evening, Evo Soul Games. How are you? Hello, Erzbeck. God, what a crew. What a crew we've got here. Um...
Yeah, we got to. Anthony brings up a good point. We got to think about Flieger Fuhrer all C this time. I mean, it is time to interdict Leningrad, or we're certainly getting there. Um, there's not necessarily a great place to take them right now. I mean, ultimately, I guess we can take them out of this base, but that gets a little silly. Uh, maybe here. What is their um, range? Let's go look at their range circles. Whoa. Whoa, where's your... Wow. Okay, so they got just a massive range. I guess we could go ahead and start doing it. Although, we got to watch our flight path. Can we go up over Finland? Good question. I don't know. All right. Well, let's try to put in that directive then. Uh, yeah. Naval Patrol. <clears throat> With Luftflotte 1... Let's see if we can do this. I don't know if we can. I don't know how this would work. Can we go out over... Why would we come stage there? Where are these coming from? Oh. Shit. Let's get these damn... Um... Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Let's get these damn ring circles off. I can't see Jack. When that's going on. All right, there we go. Now let's do a naval patrol for Luftflotte One. Ground support auto. Okay. Um, all right, let's try this again. Let's hit that. Let's do it at like a three. It's weird that you got a box here. I, I kind of wish you could maybe, you know, select the you know, each hex that you want. Wow, we actually even get escort up here. I don't even know if I want escort up here. We're going to have to think about that. Uh, area, what does two look like? Is that enough? I mean, if we interdict all of this, right, that's probably enough. Why wouldn't it be? Well, I guess they could get there. What if I move to the south one? What if I move to the south two? Now we start talking about, like, flying over places we don't want to fly. Uh, I'm not sure why it's staging here. Um, why can't I make the staging base Talon? Well, I guess I can. Uh, yeah, Talon. All right. Now, they're going to get no escort out here, though. They would get... That's why the game picked it. But it is going out over all... Air... Let's move you a little further. Can I fly out over Finland? I don't, I doubt I can, right? I mean, that wouldn't... Can I, though? No, nope, it's not going to let me. But we may as well get out here as close to Finland as we can. Oops, get on there. Come on. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to fly anywhere near Leningrad. Uh, can I, can I, like, the fins are going to push them back. Can I fly, like, all the way up here? I guess I can't. How far can I go? Get on there. There we go. Can I get up here? No. I can go there. Can I go any further? Nope. This red, that's it. That's all you got. Um... Hmm. Oh, boy. How many of my bombers do I... I mean, I guess I would be better off going with Escort, wouldn't I? All right. Let's let's uh, let's click out of this. No, I don't want that. Get off here. Uh, I guess I'm going to stage where they want me to. They've got a huge range, so we may as well. All right. Let's do a naval patrol. Luftflotte 1. Hmm. Let's do right there. Let's make sure it's at 9,000 feet. It is. I've got medium intensity. All right. Let's make this like a three instead of... Nah, that's too big. Let's make that a two. And that looks pretty good, although I guess I want to interdict all of these if I can. Uh, we're getting escort. I guess I could try to fly out around this way. Can I? I mean, they shouldn't have as many units out here. 
for like flak purposes and stuff, right? I mean, I think that makes the most sense. Do something like that. Okay. <laughs> We're going to really crank them around here. Well, at 9,000 feet, though, they're not going to get any flack from any of these guys in adjacent hexes they're, if they fly right over something. But I think there may be a clear path there. So we've got medium, fly better than poor. All of that looks good. Area two. Oh, we run out of escort doing that, though. Shoot. Seriously? I thought I had such a brilliant plan. Okay, well, God damn, I can't even see these things now. Um, let's bring it back. Uh, let's fly over our own troops as long as we can. So let's go there. Let's bring you back to there. Let's bring you back to there. All right, so we'll fly a straight line out over our own troops. I'd kind of like to avoid that. He looks like a big daddy. Um, let's go right there. All right. I don't know. I think that's the best we can do. I'm just going to confirm it. Let's make sure. Out of Luga, Hex, 2, 16, medium, 4, blah, blah, blah. Okay, confirm. Yes. All right. Now let's go to our directives then. And... No, not our direct. I'm sorry. Let's go to our doctrines then. And naval patrol escort percentage. Let's crank that down to like a 60%. All right. So we don't lose too many fighters on this little uh, adventure. All right. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Yes, it is the War in the West Air model for the most part, for the most part. You don't get that little screen where it does the, you know, it's like the, now they have something called AI Air Assist that kind of does it for you. In War in the West, they have like a screen that's like, um, yeah, we could do an air superiority mission, Anthony, you are correct. Uh, Narva Airfield, Michael says, Kalo, you missed nothing, nothing of a, you missed a lot, buddy. You don't even know everything you missed. Um, Yeah, that's a good point. There is the Narva airfield. That's got a pretty... Oh, I thought that was a two. Okay, I don't think we control anything that's a two right here. Uh, they've got several, you know, in our next step forward. But we don't really have anything uh, that's a two. You know, Novgorod's a two. We're going to have to drop this unit back and maybe even more maybe all three of these guys to protect there uh we're still fine over here with those okay anyway why, why am i talking about ground forces i don't know um god i hope i can interdict out there that'd be awesome if that works call offs i'm not worried about that uh call off the kgs you know of course we could move some of these up like kg3 there's no reason to have it we'll have this be our kind of northern bombing section i guess uh how about in those three now we are getting counterattacked up here so we should probably keep that in mind all right kg3 kg3 no get off there kg3 where are you kg3 there we go. Let's uh, plan that transfer. I'm going to start only doing plan transfers. I think that will cut down on operational losses. Um, okay. Wow. Get off of that. Uh, JG52 is moving up. We got JG54 already there, unfortunately, but that we're not going to fly any missions in the center this time. KG is moving up. Uh, ST. TG. I don't. You know. You don't really need to move some of these up. They've just got massive ranges i mean this gets out near moscow well he's getting a little close all right we'll move him up uh control move him into these four bases if we can we'll plan that transfer all right excellent zg let's get you moved up here somewhere Kind of pull it across all that. Ah, you only wanted to go up to Smolensk. That's fine. We'll plan that. We could actually just do it this time. 
uh, but Rudna, I don't think, has the stuff. Uh, so we'll do that. You're on the move. You, I'll take, I don't know, out here. Okay, we'll just plan that. All right. Moving them forward, getting ready to get the air war going again, from our perspective anyway. I guess the Soviets never really stopped. All right, plan transfer. We want to get in range of Moscow when we can. Uh, so this just kind of moving up a little bit. Uh, where do you want to go, buddy? These guys need some help down here, that's for certain. Um, second army is doing just very poorly. I say as if it's their fault. That's kind of my fault, but they are a little under, undermanned. Um, these are all fine. Let's move. Okay. KG's down. KG two's down here. That's fine. Uh, we can use or use one bombing group down here. Uh, we won't run it to the extent we think they have a lot of fighters. That all looks good. Now, some of these guys down here, we got Call of Six, KG-54. These all look fine. Uh, Call of South. We've got Recon, 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 Transport, Recon, Recon, Hungarians, Hungarians, Call of JG-3. Could move up next time. I'll just wait on that. Uh, JG-77. Okay. Where was I going to bring that other fighter group? I was going to bring them... I guess I already did, right? I mean, I really brought everything that I could. Let's look at the air again. All right. That's restricted. He can't come out yet. Um, That can't come out yet. That can't... Okay. So we've gotten everything out of there that we can. Um, let's go down to the south. Uh, while we're down here, we'll just go to some of my bombers are getting a little too far back here. We'll fix that next time, though. Let's go to Luflata 4. We'll go on ground support. Uh, Army group south. Okay, we'll confirm that. All right. Yep, that works. Uh, fine. And then let's get off that. Let's now go to the Romanians. They could start moving up, certainly. Uh, where are their fighters? Yeah, we don't need their fighters out here. Uh, let's move them up this way uh, to get with the Romanians. Or the ground troops, I should say. Plan transfer. All right. Get off there. Come on. And then we'll get another fighter flotilla up here somewhere. Whoops, why did that happen? Shoot, sorry. Romanian fighter flotilla. Here's the first. All right. Kind of drag it like that. All right, we'll plan that. Well, then third Romanian fighter flotilla will leave you. Gosh darn it, just did that again. I don't know why it does that. Oh, I already got him going. All right, third's already going. Uh, Italian Italian fighter group, what are we going to do with them? Well, I don't think they need to actually be with the Italians. I think we're going to uh, have them help us out down here. All right. Uh, Romanian, wow, gosh darn, we've got a lot of Romanian fighters. I don't mean to complain, that's a good thing. All right, we'll plan that. And off you go. Romanian, he's moving. First Romanian bomb flotilla, this is what I want. Let's bomb somebody. Um, all right, we'll do this. And we'll plan that. All right. Uh, okay, so we've moved all of those. Call up, we will not move. The recon group, no. Italian fighter group, uh, we've moved. KG-27's close enough to the front. 
The fighter flotilla is moving up. Hungarian fighter regiment. We can move them up here a little ways, can't we? Where the Hungarians roam. All right, they're going to go into Cherkasy. And off you go. All right, so now we got Hungarians on the move. They can get way up here, actually. Um, all right, they want to go into Krim and Chug. Everybody's heading to Krim and Chug. It's a popular place on the map. Don't let me forget in the center, I've still got to set my air directive. Italian fighter, recon, fighter flotilla, we moved that. Uh, KG doesn't have to move. Hungarian to move. Romanian com air combat, uh, recon group, call loft. Hungarian bombers. Let's move the Hungarian bombers. How many times have I said that in my life? Uh, okay. Plan transfer. All right. One more to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fourth Hungarian bomber. Okay, so I've moved out third. Let's just make sure there's nothing left. All right. Now then. All right. I think we've moved all those. We've got to go set the directive in the center. Um, this all looks fine. Let's back up just a little bit. All right, uh, Romanians are moving. Italians have moved. Uh, bomber, that's fine. Call off is fine. Uh, they're all moving. The recon group, no. Army recon group, no. Okay. Hungarian bombers on the move. Uh, recon. JG3 seems a little far back for my liking, but I think we'll put it in D-Town when we take it. Um, these guys, these guys are all fine. We need some fighter support up here. He could move, I guess he could move into Kiev completely, right? Or we could move a little forward. All right, let's plan that. All right. Um, we'll have to move the f uh, fighter squadron out to here at some point but not right now. Uh, don't have time for that now. All right, let's go set our last directive. Uh, well, that's not true. Exactly. Uh, this will be ground support. Ground support for Army Group Center. And we'll confirm that. All right. Now then, let's go to our air, or our, I'm sorry, our directives. We've got naval patrol, ground support, ground support, ground support. All right, let's go to the Hungarians and the Romanians. Um, I was tempted to take the Romanians down with 11th, but I'm not going to get crazy here. Romanians, uh, I'm going to have you go to Antonescu, which would help out 11th if we get there, you know. Um, ground support, Romanian. Army group, Antonescu. Is that right? We probably would want them to help out 17th, too. They all report to Army Group South. So, uh, actually, let's change that. We'll do that to Army Group South. Uh, yes. Okay. And we'll confirm that. And then the Hungarians. I think I'm going to have the Hungarians fly, like, right over First Panzer Group. Okay. Uh, Luf... Why? Did I not confirm that? God dang it. Army Group South. Yes. Confirm. Yes. Okay. Thought I did that, but guess not. Uh, one and one, one and one. Now, why did he flip off? Ground support? No, he's still on here. Um, let's make sure. No, it's not, actually. Oh, can they not? Can I not do? Oh, I see. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Army group Antonescu. That's fine. Yes. All right. Now then. Hungarian Air Command. Where do we want you? Army Group South, let's put you straight over first uh, Panzer Group. Let's do that. Confirm. Yes. Okay. All right. So now we've got those. We've got, you know, two up in the north. Uh, that all looks good. I'm going to go look at the comments and see if you guys yelled at me for anything. Uh, right, Nordhammer. Yes. Um, 
Is it an option to bomb the Murmansk railway to weaken Leningrad supplies? Yeah, it's an option. I don't really know. Um, I don't really know how effective that was going to be. Uh, it's not a bad idea. I don't know. Let's go up there and look. I, I see what you're saying. You know, I mean, you got this major rail that's coming in from essentially all the way down in Mo Moscow, right? Uh, so, I mean, it could be this one or it could be this one that goes up and around here, you know, bombing that, I, this major rail, I assume is what you're talking about actually, right? This is the one down this way so it lay, like we get the smaller all comes in here so like bomb this rail right right here it's not a terrible idea i've i've certainly heard worse like bomb here where they probably have the rail yard because they don't have this is it this is the only way in um well i guess maybe this connects up here but if we bomb this rail yard i don't know let's just go see what it looks like if we do that uh, let's set a directive, air attack, or a ground attack, I should say, uh, for Luflata 1. And if we set it, you know, let's say like right here, and we said rail yard on one hex, I don't know, low intensity, and we kind of scooted it, I guess, well, we already know the escorts can only go so far. We want them to go right over our troops, right? But then we did, like, kind of, you know, shank it out here. Uh, anyway, I'm not talking about my golf game. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll shank a lot of those, too. You know what? Let's just do it. It sounds like fun to me. We'll do it on low. What do we got? Like, you know, it's going to hit. It can only hit the hex twice. So uh, that sounds like fun. All right. I like it. Uh, let's see. Let's see how that works. May as well. I don't, you know, I don't know. Is it, a, is it a good idea? Well, I don't know, but I can always blame you if it doesn't work. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Yeah, the rail to the polar sea. Indeed, indeed. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot, because that seems like fun to me. Uh, and that's what this is all supposed to be, right? I can't take it too seriously, although I will say... Ooh, I yeah, right after the first episode, I just went to look just to go to show you how much I'm enjoying playing Warplan Pacific against another human. As soon as I logged off, I was like, "Gosh, I wonder if he sent my turn back," and he did. The mischievous, devious Tronborg sent back his turn. This guy's attacking Bombay. It's in the middle of January. I'm like, "That's aggressive, buddy," and I. No AI in the world is going to be doing that, but he is all over me. And as as of right now, I'm not in good shape in that game. Uh, you know, as the allies, you don't get transports until March, right? We're in the middle of January. I can't move out any U.S. or U.K. forces, so I'm kind of at his mercy. And whew, that's going to be a fun one when I put that up. You guys might get a good laugh out of it because he is a very good Axis player. I'll say that. Um but we'll see. We'll see. I, I think I might end up doing okay. Uh, we've got a few things in store for Tranborg. Uh, we'll see about it. Uh, okay, I think maybe it's time to run the directives. Let's do it. I'm very interested in this uh, interdiction up here. We're going to do the ground attack uh, out here on the rail yard, see how that works out. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. More fun than the, ex the air directives usually are. Well, we've already taken seven losses, but I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Let's turn that down. Message level two. I don't want it to go quite that fast. Eleven losses on 192. Is my head in the way or am I over the Soviets? Oh, good. I'm over the Soviets. All right. We're interdicting, boys. We're out into the lake. We've taken six flak losses. That's not terrible by day five and we've lost 14 operationally that's not bad i'll take 16 losses on that certainly 24 and well oh okay can't speak too soon day seven 
Still six flak losses, so I think we really cut that down by changing the uh, direction or, you know, changing the flight path. We took 22 operational losses and six flak losses. I will take that. Uh, the Naval Patrol is where we lost pretty much everything, right? Um, because we ground ground support won't kick in till the ground, you know, phase. So, of course, we did. Uh, but we didn't get hurt on our ground attack out there. Excellent. Did we even hit this thing? It didn't run any sorties. That's weird. Why would we not run any sorties on that? I'm going to have to think about that. I, I don't know exactly. I mean, it's all in here correct from what I can tell. I guess it's possible we ran out of fighters because they escorted the naval patrol out. Certainly possible. Uh, we lost 18 bombers uh, and we lost 10, or interdictors. We lost 10 escorts. That's not terrible. I'll take that. Um, let's go look at the interdiction levels. Yes, we're fighting you in the lake. Three, three, three. Okay, this is going to be a hell of a battle out here for uh, interdiction levels. Now, they can still get through if we're even. We don't control any of these hexes yet. We may go up to high intensity next time and get busy on it in Lake Ladoga. Um, I sound like a Russian billionaire. I'm going to get up to Lake Ladoga and get busy. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, we're on to the ground phase. I don't know. You guys want to keep going? Why not? Um, uh, sure, I'll move Army Group North, or at least I'll move 18th Army and we'll see where we are. You know I want to move those Panzers, though. Oh, do I dare? I don't know. I got a message from the wife. She's still down in L.A., so I got I got time. Uh, time is on my side, uh, to quote the Rolling Stones. Um, all right, we were bringing this regiment up. We've, you know, left behind this port... Uh, I forget who I'm supposed to blame if that doesn't work. We can move 18th Army up now, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he can throw everybody in command. Von Kuchler. Uh, so I'm going to move this regiment up. As long as we're moving regiments up, let's do it. We'll space bar him. We could actually maybe even put those guys back into a division once this guy gets... Matter of fact, let's go ahead and move him. Can we get up here to this airbase? That's what I want. Yeah, I thought that they fell back far enough to take Godov. I knew it. Uh, that's excellent. Um, now, if I move around the bend of the lake, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, he can get modal in. All right, let's move into Peskov. And we'll move um, 16th Army, I think. Well, let's make sure everybody's on site. Uh, modal is going to move forward. Yeah, he's 12 of 15 now. Okay, and we'll move 16th Army headquarters maybe up to Luga for now. Novgorod? Eh, let's put it... Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. What's the rail yard at Novgorod? It's only one. Damn it. The ancient home of the Rus only has a rail yard of one? Uh, okay. Uh, we'll go into Luga then. I think... Well, it, it, it kind of doesn't matter what Luga has to some degree. We got to use it. Uh, but it, yeah, it only has one as well. We need to put that on priority repairs. We'll spend the point, point to do it. Uh, we've also got some stuff in 4th Panzer. We've got some construction. Yeah, we've got two construction battalions in 4th Panzer. In 16th Army, it's locked, and we've got a lot of construction. Okay, excellent. And then down here, how's Peskov looking? Rail yard's down to 17 damage. All right. Um... And 18th Army has construction as well. So we should get that all the way to zero because it's such a big difference. I mean, it's the difference between 40,000 and 4,000 as far as the capacity, <laughs> you know, on your rail. That's, that's a lot. I, I'm no mathematician, but that's a lot. Um, he really should have... Do, are there any construction battalions I can give him? Yeah, back at OKH. 
Let's give Von. Let's have Von Chapuy, my guy, get in charge of some construction battalions. Uh, I think the Germans called Von Chapuy the Big Sexy. That was his nickname. <laughs> no, come on. I can't. I I don't know that some of the descendants of Von Chapuy are going to be mad at me. Um. Okay. I kind of wish I would have left that regiment back here. I don't know why I listen to you guys sometimes. Now I'm nervous they're going to come around to Parnu or something. Like something bizarre like that. What do I... It's just Army Group North. Okay. That's all it is, is Army Group North. Uh, there's nothing back here. We have those Panzer Divisions but that just showed up in the Motorized Division, but they're not coming this way. They're going to the center, I think. Had to get more coffee. Had to get more coffee for this. Um, all right. Now then, so we've moved this regiment. Awesome. How are we going to approach this? Really, the most important thing is, now I love seeing this, right? What looks to be, well, it's got to be an empty hex. We would see something here because we're next to it. That's empty hex right there, right out of Pushkin. We've got a three... A six, what they're representing is a six, but I bet you it's stronger than that because it's two counters, including armor. Now, what is that terrain right there? Is that light woods? I hope so. It is light woods. Hey, okay. Uh, this is clear, I believe. It is clear. That's clear. Gosh, this is open right up for us. Uh, do, do I dare dream that my plan might work? We'll see. All right, let's get this guy uh, rolling. Now, as you see, we got Modal's guys coming this way, so we can, you know, move these guys a little further this way than maybe we normally would. Because um, they're going to come up and around. As a matter of fact, maybe we move Modal's units first. Let's, let's kind of do this at a hex at a time. Okay, I see nothing. I see nothing. I see nothing. God, if I had a good German accent, it would make this a lot yeah, more entertaining. Um, all right, I'll put you there. Push you there. I'll move you here. Go ahead and have you do a... Ah, oh, shit, he can't do a deliberate attack. Okay, I'll have you do a deliberate attack because I need you out of here. Uh, I hate to waste those you know, movement points, but ultimately it's fine. He can't get across the river at all? Good lord. Well, I guess he can down here, but that doesn't necessarily help a whole lot. Um, the squeeze is on. All right. We're squeezing. We're squeezing hard. All right. Uh, tell you what, why don't I move you over there? All right, uh, we continue to approach the city on turn 12. Now then, we got to blow this unit out of here. That's, uh, mission number one, Valter Modal. Um, god dang, it's kind of an odd way to have to move around there, but, uh, so be it. Can he get up here with a deliberate? He can, all right. Let's go deliberate. Come on, Walter Modal. Oh, we just moved him. I was hoping he'd route out. Uh, oh, he did. He did. <laughs> I love that secondary route. Uh, God, that made me happy. Went may, much happier than it should have. <laughs> that got me all excited. Um, excellent. Now let's move this little regiment. I don't know, over here. And we've got divisions that can start moving up here. All right. I'm tempted to try to take this guy, this bad boy, out. Um, ooh. Sneak right around there. How about us? How you like me now? Let's go right there. Can he get... Yes, he can get there. All right. Trying to get him as far east as I can, because here come the Panzers rolling. Uh, if that's not a German folk song, it should be. Um, uh, 
Can you get there? Oh, hey, let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's back that up. Back that thing up. Um. All right. Well, there goes nothing. Um. We got to figure out what to do with 16th Army. I've got to protect Novgorod better. I think that that. You know what I think I'll do? I'll move these guys all into Novgorod. Can I get this guy all the way down here? This regiment. Which one is it? He's part. Of, he's one one twenty ninth. Uh, what's this guy? He's two one twenty ninth, and you are three one twenty ninth. All right, let's back you fools up. I kind of like would like to stay on the river, um, like a van down by the river. Um, but I kind of want to put a division in Novgorod, especially since we have a lot of air there now. I also wonder if I could scoot some things around with 16th. Oh, hey, we've got more divisions. Uh, let's get these guys off the train. What's up, Blue? Blue is here. Uh, the 183rd is here. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to my little party. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, they need to help out 16th, even though I technically put them in 18th because 18th is an assault army. Maybe I'll bring this guy right over here uh, and help with this group, and I'll have him come up here and help with these guys. So maybe I don't have to like go full division here, and I can do more area. Two one twenty ninth. I want him to be kind of behind the river. Yeah, that's a little small river there. Well, for this turn, I'll stack them together, and then I'll get this division up here as fast as I can. Uh, these guys, shit, I don't know. we got a lot of ground to cover. Let's start at the bottom. <sighs> now what? Well, we're getting attacked out here for one thing. That's one what. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the guy that got hit last time. Uh, let's put you in the deep woods. Let's go ahead and use this 9th Army division to try to remove that from the equation. All right. Now you're out. That's good. Okay. Now we've got this 18 out here, but we're going to try to move past him. But now I've got this out for 16th, so I don't have to worry that there's a gap there. All right. This guy, shoot, I don't know. We're going to kind of leave these regiments down here because I don't think they're going to help much anyway. All right, so there's there's a dude. Um, move him up to the river. He can stay there. That's fine. We're going to have this guy come over, and we'll just protect right here around the bend. That all looks fine to me. Okay, that's actually a better situation than I thought it was. We're just making a long, long line there. Um, now then, I backed these guys. These guys are all the same division. I backed him up. Boop, boop, boop. You know, the old reverse uh, signal. Now then, let's move... Oh, wow. All right. Let's move him all the way down in there if we can get there. Okay. And two core. That's two core. Okay, so you're two core. Let's get two core down in into the fray. I just wonder if I could get further if I move my mobilized first, or my motorized, I should say, mobilized. Um, probably. So let's just do it. Dang it. You know I want to do it. Uh, let's get Totenkopf into the free hex. That's the hex I like to see. Uh, a free hex. Okay, we got a routed unit there. That's it evidently we've got pushkin there we don't really know what's actually there so we're not going to attack into that with motorized forces we're going to go try to go straight this way all right this is the key uh not this not really we may try to move that eventually now i do believe yep i've got my two mo other motorized units here let's get them up with the toten cough All right. I guess I'm going to use all three. I just want to make sure I get rid of them because I can still move Panzers later. We can't do a deliberate. Could I do a deliberate if I get rid of him? 
No. Okay. So it doesn't matter. We're going to do all three and try to blow this son of a gun out of there. We got one committed to the defense. Will it matter? No, you're out of there. You're out. <laughs> All right. Now then, have you ever seen me get so excited as we come on on Leningrad? Uh, yeah, Franco sent us the blue division. Thanks, Generalissimo. <laughs> what a, what a, I don't know. The Spanish Civil War is always very fascinating to me. Uh, it, in many ways, well, I don't want to go down that road. It, it presaged a lot of things in the rest of the 20th century, or even some of the debates we have now, I believe. Um, okay, Totenkopf, get to rolling, rolling. Uh, I could have attacked right there, but I'm not sure I even have to. Uh, we'll see. Now, he can't go any further because we have those delay points. Can you go any further, my friend? You cannot. Ah, oh, look at Panzers flying through. Holy moly, we're in the suburbs. That blocks everything. So these guys are didn't effectively trapped, right? I mean, if we go right there, they have no way. Or does this, would this count? Can you get in there? Yeah, I guess it's got a little land. Uh, hmm. Did he celebrate prematurely? Um, while I'm thinking, how far can you, you can't go very far at all. He must have missed an admin role because he just got like nothing this time. I'm going to move him right there. Okay, now then. How, f you can go there and you, okay, we're just going to do it. I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm not going to miss hit a button or something. I'm going to go there. Oh, wow, look at that. We just got a routed unit, an air unit, and then you're into the suburbs, my friend. Truly into the suburbs. Wow, I, it smells like Leningrad around here. Knock, knock, knock. It's Eric von Munstein. Um, schnapps for all. Wow, man, that kicks me back. I haven't had schnapps. Uh, quick sidelight. When I was in law school at the University of Illinois, I decided to take a road trip down to Southern Illinois University. And if you're not familiar, familiar at all with Southern Illinois University, Playboy magazine named it the number one party school in the country like three or four years in a row. It just used to be nuts down there, right? Just crazy. You know, why in Southern Illinois? I don't know. It's in Car a little town called Carbondale. Anyway, we drove down there in the middle of a blizzard from Champaign, where the U of I, University of Illinois is. It ends up, all we had in the car, like all the gas stations were closed because of the blizzard. We couldn't stop. We thought we were going to be able to pick up some alcohol, drinking, a, never drink and drive. Sometimes you do foolish things when you're 21. Um it ended up the only thing we had in the car was one of my buddies in his, like, uh, what he had brought along as a change of clothes had peach schnapps or schnapps, schnapps. And we drank a whole, I mean, I don't even know what this crap was. He said it was peach schnapps, but it was some off brand. And uh, I can, to this day, I cannot smell peach or I start to feel like I might throw up all right that's my story for the day you guys are like where did that come from um anyway we could try to attack right here well we'll we'll save that we'll save that for a minute can uh wow this looks promising uh they're triple stacked here uh, we're not seeing anything in this hex now what is this considered is this considered water or not it is water that's what i thought all right, these guys are completely trapped then. Uh, excellent. All right, cool. Man, that makes me happy. Um, now then. He can go there. Okay. You. Oh, I've got the other, okay. So I'm looking for 87th ID. That's 10 core. All right, 87th ID can go there. 
he, I think, can stay right here. We got to try to hold back some of this crap. I don't know. I'm starting to think I just want to attack some of these dudes and get them off of us a little bit. Um, I don't like that gap with this big old bad boy sitting here. Do I have another? I do have another infantry division. Well, that's fantastic. And I've got another one under here, too. Can one of these guys get into this hex with the motorized? Doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to move him up there. And then you... can go there. Does that make sense? Wow, he can still do a deliberate attack. Why don't we do a... a can he do a... Hold on. Let's move his head... Let's move the headquarters up here. Um, let's see what they even have here. I mean, I don't even know what they've got. Ah, it's 23. Okay, well, we only took 32 losses. They lost a little more than we did. They even lost 10 planes, so I'll take that. That's not crazy strong. Um, let's see if that's true. Okay, we just scouted. Excellent. Okay, so now we know. We've got a 10, a 23. Now, I've still got these motorized units. I may have... Let's just do this exploratory. Oh, the guy... The people at Pushkin are getting the hell out of there. They say, here comes the dojo. It's like Godzilla, you know, dojo walking in. Um, well, we lost seven bombers. Turn ground support off, man. Gosh darn it, that was totally my fault. I should have turned ground, so that's okay. Well, that's seven bombers down. Uh, I totally forgot <laughs> that I had that on. That's why I, I hate having that directive on and thinking about turning it on and off because I knew I'd forget, but that's okay. I got so excited about what was happening here. I do think I'm going to go ahead and hit this. I may as well. Now we know. 22, 23, and 8. This actually is not strong at all. Um, I've got enough to do a deliberate attack against some things back here. We'll get to that in a second. I'm going to do this without ground support. Ground support off. Um, and hit there. Uh, that, that, that wasn't great. Uh, okay, well, maybe my idea is we're weakening them. We've now got them surrounded. Now, they can still get supply, don't get me wrong, because it's going to come out this way probably this time. Uh, but they cannot get back into the city. So that looks good. Uh, where do I want to hit here? I think this guy bothers me more than anybody. Uh, I just don't like the look of his face. Um, wait a minute. Let's make sure both of these are on. Two of five, four of five. Okay. Let's play ball. Eh, knocked him back. That's fine. Uh, 10 to one losses. 59 guns got taken out there. Okay, that's cool. This, uh, he's on our side of the river. Let's just take a pot shot at him and see what happens. Ah, we only scouted up. 200, so, okay, this, let's not do that game again. You know how I get. I start doing those attacks. I'm like, yeah, let's do this one. Let's do that one. Um, now he's red. Shit. That doesn't make me happy. Let's move this guy up. Is he, he's 32nd ID. All right, let's move and stack with him. These guys are okay, I guess. Let's go stand right in front of him. Now, he may try to break through here, but we're on the backside of the river. This would make him expend a lot more points to try to push into Novgorod, and I think we can get our uh, the blue up here. The blue is going to try to hold the uh, Novgorod. So, all right. Oh, gosh. We still have birthday decorations up for the dog, and one of the balloons just popped, and it about made me jump out of my seat right here in the middle. I'm this close to Leningrad. You can't be popping balloons near me. Save your C CPs and fatigue. I agree. <laughs> Respect. A vodka, a pink grapefruit. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, cheers. I love it. The way I the way I just said that reminded me of uh, my guy uh, that did the GameStop. Uh, what's his name? Roaring Kitty. You know, once GameStop would go up, I don't know if any of you guys watched any of his videos, but he was the guy that was just like GameStop's way undervalued. You know, you got to keep buying it. 
and uh, at like 10 or 20 bucks a share. And, uh, you know, when it finally that day, it spiked to like six or 700 bucks a share for a moment, you know, and then it, it it's still like 200 bucks a share. And he made like 30 million bucks that day. Seriously, I think he made like 30 million bucks. He came on that video that day and it was like, cheers, cheers, cheers. He was, he was, la he just laughed for like an hour straight. It was awesome, actually. Uh, anyway, uh, back to the task at hand. 18th Army, uh, we've still got 12 movement points with this guy. I mean, I'm just leaving movement points on the table a little bit, but I don't really, you know, no reason to run in here. We'll let him rest for a turn. What's his fatigue? Yeah, he's got 45 fatigue. Uh, that's fine. He's fine. Uh, this guy could move. Could he? No, he couldn't, actually. All right. All these guys are cut off. No reason to uh, do any attacks here. Uh, they should weaken, uh, especially next turn, if we can push, you know, into this hex. Now, I guess we would... Well, there's no... This is the port. They could get something into this port, right? Ah, we'll see. We'll see. I think I think everything looks good in the north, my friends. Everything looks really nice in the north. Uh, you know, you still got to take the city. We got to start. Uh, you know, we'll just run this interdiction like mad. Uh, yeah, ultimately, if we lose a crap ton of planes, but we take Leningrad, that's fine. Um, we may. After we get all this cleaned up, then we'll reverse the Panzers out and try to get over here. But I, I think I think we're in good shape now. I, you know. Trapping all of these, so we're talking, what, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. A potentially, like, 10 to 15 divisions out here somewhere in that range. That that will be pretty good to take the city. Now, I do wish that we could push this way a little bit to keep, like, something like this from retreating into the city. And next turn, depending on how it goes, I may try to beat him down here to the corner um, you know, and get here to block up because this is only an eight, right? If I turn my panzers around and I went boing, 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 and I could block all of these units from getting into the city, I think that would be helpful. And then we could move, you know, out here to the ports. We'll see. We'll see, you know, uh, work to do. These guys are all lined up fine, I think. Um, oh, let's move the core headquarters up here. Put both of these in. We're going to leave uh, the 183rd ID that we got here. Kind of here is a blocking force. I mean, obviously, like doing something like losing Peskov would be a disaster. Speaking of which, yeah, we can't take these out with just regiments, these zones of control. I may just move him down here and clear a bunch of this crap out. Um, let's look at our eight. There we go. Okay, so it is all coming out of Peskov. Ostrov's sending a little off, but uh, Peskov is all of our panzers for the most part. Uh, Parnu and Talon. Perfect. Peskov, Parnu, and Talon. Eventually, you know, we'll hook this up by rail. We don't have it hooked up yet. Uh, when we do, um, this will be our main base, and it'll come in from... Peskov there and that'll just save us on trucks right so speaking of which where is our where are our railroad units now so I, I've lost track we railed that one out oh this one's coming up here yeah I guess we'll have to see but I guess it's possible we could take this guy and link those up in the north we'll put him back on rail let's take eight off if we look at rail I think he can make it all the way up here can he I don't know let's see Whoops. I thought I was on the rail unit. Oh, I am. Uh, wow. Hold on. Is it not enough of it repair? Oh, I've got to take this shit off. God, that makes me mad every single time. Um, no? He can't move at all. Is that right? Is he? Oh, you know why? Because this son of a gun moved one more, but he couldn't repair it. So we'd have to move him into this hex and see how far he can go. But if we just trace it, it looks like, no, we can't go that way, but I think we could go, <laughs> all... wow, this is a very circuitous route, uh, all the way back around up here to Peskov on the train, and then we could hook in Luga. We'll see, we'll see. 
All right, guys. Uh, I don't want to lose my voice. This beautiful Barry Manilow type uh, vocal package that I have. Uh, <laughs> I lost that a long time ago, that voice. But, uh, you know, these baritones, I, I can't talk too much in a day. I've got to have, you know, tea and honey to keep this. This is the money maker right here. I don't want to lose it. Um, I do agree, M60. They're not trapped, trapped in the sense they're not isolated. Totally agree with you there. Uh, I just think they're trapped of not being able to get back to the city. That's, I guess that's what I should have said, but you are correct. They are not isolated because there's a functional port there. Um, Kalo, do not talk about the NKVD. No, they are nowhere near. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to go down to Ninth Army. We're going to go sort out what the hell went wrong in the center last time. I'm not sure anything went wrong, except you know what I should have done? And I think M60 said this last time, or when we were in the center last time, I probably should have just rested them, right? We we pushed up, we were getting close to Moscow, and I think I got, it got my blood spirits up. And so I kept attacking. We probably should have just sat down and taken our time and uh, let them uh, just relax, just relax a little bit. Uh, now we're on turn 12. I'm not sure we can afford to, uh, turn 11 would have been the time to do it. Learn from my mistakes, folks. Let me make them, you know, it's like talking to your child as a, you know, don't make the same mistakes I did. Anyway, thank you guys so much. It's been a great Saturday. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 10 AM Pacific coast time. I guess that's 5 PM Greenwich meantime that's what google tells me if it's wrong it's not my fault uh talk to the guys over at alphabet uh anyway i'll be back at 10 a.m tomorrow we will get into the center of army group center <laughs> i guess i said that backwards anyway you guys have a great one i had a great time today great comments as always you guys are the best and uh i'll see you tomorrow have a good one adios